let's talk about the consequences of potentially trading Trey Lance yeah. without getting Aaron Rodgers to placate the masses. Let's say you just trade Trey Lance and roll with Brock Purdy and Sam Darnold. What are the possible range of outcomes there? That is, a, what's a good word? Ballsy? Like that? that is a decisive move if they do that if they get rid of trey lance and all and they're just like we're gonna roll with brock purdy coming off ucl injury and we're gonna roll with sam darnold the consequences could be really bad especially if trey lance goes somewhere else and balls out and brock purdy doesn't turn out to be a franchise quarterback essentially to me they're gonna real quick real real quick we're talking risk reward here and the reward is like a third round pick maybe a second round pick they're asking for a second and a fourth reportedly that's the rumor so that's let's let's say let's say they get a second and a fourth for trey lance that's the reward. Now let's lay out all the risks. Yeah. All the risks yeah. are Kyle all the risks. And, and John Lynch are out of here because like if you if you spend all that money to get Trey Lance and then you get rid of him for a second and then he does before well, even giving him a chance. Right. He didn't fail. He yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. he does well. And then Brock Purdy doesn't work out. And Sam you're, Darnold continues to be Sam Darnold. You're you're fired. You're screwed. That's how that's how Kyle Shannon finally would get fired. So you I put mean, your you put your career at risk for a second and a fourth. Yeah, it's I not my I career, but I wouldn't do that. Yeah, yeah, I don't buy it. It's too that's much of risk. I, yeah. I don't think I don't think that's gonna happen. Yeah. That's why. That's why I mean, I'm adamant about it's, not it's your stuff. reputation too, man. I mean, it would be the dumbest series of events ever. You gave up three firsts and a third for a guy. You got rid of him after four starts before he even proved a thing. You traded low. You replaced him with a guy who was injured and a guy who everyone knew was trash. They both, uh, you know, didn't work out, which is like, wow, what a surprise. And then Trey Lance ends up being the guy you thought he would be initially. Like, it's it's a comedy of errors at that point. Now, I'm not saying it would ha- it would work out that way. Maybe Brock Purdy's the truth. Maybe Sam Darnold is the next Alex Smith. If you compare the beginning of Alex Smith's career to the beginning of Sam Darnold's career, there are a lot of parallels. Mm-hmm. Doesn't mean that Sam Darnold ended up turning his career around. And frankly, Alex Smith wasn't exactly a Hall of Famer. Maybe yeah. Trey Lance, you know, maybe Trey Lance could be that um, yeah. because... He's still young, and he seems to be taking the right steps, at least this offseason. So big consequences if they get this wrong. Yeah, and that's the thing. I mean, you're right. It could work out. Maybe Brock Purdy comes back. He's just as good, if not better, than he was before, and he continues to get better, and he becomes franchise quarterback. Then nobody's going to say nothing. But yeah, throughout that process, it's going to be there's going to be a lot of heat on, on those guys. you know. And I just don't feel like they're ballsy enough to be like, yes, we know this is going to happen. This is, what, this is how it's going to work out. I, I don't know. Yeah, they might think like, you know, we we prefer Brock. We don't think Trey Lance is going to reach his potential, the potential we thought he had two years ago. But they don't know. And I no. think they're a little scared that they're wrong. Like, they've been wrong so many times at the quarterback position. I mean, they didn't really know. About, we've talked about it so many times. But they didn't know about Brock until Brock played, you know. Yeah. Um, and he played at the end of the season when the offense was already clicking. And he had a bunch of good players. Trey hasn't been in that position. So... I mean, mean, Trey Trey won real quick. Trey won that week 16 game against the Texans. What if he had just kept playing that year? Maybe he would have kept. He didn't like get hurt. He won. Then they benched him for a guy who was injured and wasn't playing well. Maybe the Niners win the Super Bowl that year if he's playing. You don't know. To me, it all boils down. Like, it it makes sense to me that they're going to use this opportunity with Brock Purdy hurt to finally see what they have in Trey Lance, and then they can make their decision. Unless they get Rodgers. Yeah, or <laughs> let's see Rogers to see it. Like I feel like they're they're gonna use this opportunity if they don't get Aaron Rodgers to see what they have in Trey Lance, and then if they want to, they could trade him during the during the year or after the season. I just don't think he's going anywhere this year. It wouldn't make any sense to me. I just feel like the fact that Jalen Hurts exists gives Trey Lance a, another chance with the Niners because even again they can think what they want to think, but they see what the Eagles did with Jalen Hurts, and they got to acknowledge that there's a chance. Trey could do the same thing. And oh, I think they know that they're not putting him in the same position. They don't have the same coaches, but there's there's a chance and a hope that he could do it on his own. And right now he's with Patrick Mahomes and Jeff Christensen and working on the mechanical flaws in his throwing motion, which we've discussed. And yeah. right now, based on the little clips we're seeing, it looks like he's working on the things he needs to work on. So and I just might want to just see what it looks like in, in camp before they make a decision on this. And you could make an argument because there's tons of examples, right? Josh Allen, Peyton Manning, a bunch of guys that struggled really bad in, in the beginning of their career. Steve and you could Young. make an argument. Was that, that? Steve Young. Steve Young. It's, and Steve Young. A, you could make an argument that Trey Lance will benefit more than any of those guys because he has the least amount of experience out of all of those guys that started off bad and got better. And 
Trey Lance is the least experienced out of all of them. So there's an argument to be made that he might be able to do it more likely than those guys were able to do it. Mm -hmm. Corey Soto says, just please let it be somewhere with a good jersey. Been a Niner fan for 27 years, but fandom isn't hereditary. It's a choice. What, what's faithful? Ooh, I'm telling you, this is why I don't think the Niners, this is why I think you're going to win that bet with Larry Kruger. I don't think Jed and Kyle and John want to just straight up enrage 70% of the fan base. Yeah. They, they know if they get Rodgers, everyone's happy. But if they don't, and they just trade Trey Lance after four stars and not giving him a chance to say, don't worry, everyone, trust us. We like Brock and Darnold. Dude, a lot of people are going to be pissed, and they're not that kind of organization, man. They're basically just want to keep people happy. And there's no because frankly, if they keep people happy and only and only and keep losing in NFC championships, they'll be fine. Yeah. They could piss people off trying to go for the the big one if they you know do what they think is right. I mean, they have enough. They have enough picks. If they want to move up to the second and the fourth, they can do it with draft picks. They don't have to trade Trey Lance to do that. 